hello welcome to another video i'll be showing you how you can tackle task 2 of the delete stem virtual internship so task 2 is on data analysis so i'll be giving you a summary of what you're supposed to do so you have four factories each has nine types of machines and they are sending a message if whether they are faulty or not every 10 minutes then you have a telemetry data which is collected from the four factories and the data is in JSON format so what is required is supposed to build a dashboard to explore the client's telemetry data using Tableau where you're supposed to determine the location where the machine broke the most also determine which machines broke so let us start visualizing using Tableau. I am using Tableau public so this is what you have. We are going to load our JSON file. So go ahead and load your JSON file, the file that you had downloaded from Deloitte Forage website. Now this is what you have. We are going to select all the schemas. Then select OK. Let us update it automatically. You have your, your data here. Rows, columns. So let's go ahead and start visualizing. Let us start with sheet one. Now you have your dimensions here. Then you have your measures here. We said we are going to determine the location where the machine broke the most. So we are going to first create a calculated field. So let us go ahead and create a calculated field. Let us name it unhealthy. Then let us input our lines of instructions here. We are going to use the, uh, the if else statement. So P. We are saying that if our status here is unhealthy, then we are going to give it a 10. If it is healthy, we are going to give it a 0. Then we end our line of instructions. We select OK. And there you have it. Let us drag the unhealthy under rows. And because we want to know the areas, machines had a down time, we are going to drag that under factory and there you have it you've been limited to use a bar graph so that is what you are going to use so here we have the areas Berlin and so on where we had a downtime then you have our status here let us go ahead and label it so press control drag the unhealthy under labels You've labeled it. Let us rename this sheet. And we are done with sheet 1. Let us go ahead and select sheet 2. We said we want to determine which machines broke. We are going to have the unhealthy again under rows. Then you can have the type of machines, the device type under columns. And there you have it. Let us go ahead and label it. So press control, drag, drop it under labels. we have labeled it. Let us rename this sheet. Now based on what you want, you can change the color of the bars. have them as black and there you have it let's go ahead and create a dashboard so we have our two sheets here 
we are going to drag and drop so let's start with the location where the machines broke then you can have the type of the machines that broke and I read so after having done this you can go ahead and create a title for the dashboard let us rename that so rename it let us have it as bold or let us use a different font there you have it let's change the color of the background of this dashboard so we are going to select format then dashboard then under default you can change and pick the color that is more appealing according to you then let us change the color of the title Let us align it at the center. You can change the color maybe to white. Yeah, we can have it as white. Then let us change also the color where we have our visualizations. You can also go ahead and change the color there. So if you want to do that, again, you go to format, then go to shading. I have it so you can change the worksheet that's okay supposing you want to change the color of the title so you format Let us change the color of the title so let us have it as again black but let us have it as bold yeah then let's go back and change the color of the title let us have it as black and see how pardon yeah that's much better then you can go ahead and add a filter now we can see that in Seiko this is where we had the most downtime so we can go ahead and select it then based on that we can see that the types of machines that broke here we have 480 and there you have it we are done with our dashboard so you can go ahead and snip it Then go ahead and save your dashboard. Thank you so much for watching. You can go ahead and have your dashboard customized as much as you want. So I'd like to offer my gratitude for those who have subscribed. If you haven't, kindly do so. Kindly show me your support by getting me to 200 subscribers. And if, if you found this video informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let us meet in the next video.